under Lagrange's partial differential equation. Here we have problem 17. So as the first step, let us write the standard form of the Lagrange's partial differential equation. So after comparing with the standard form, we have to write the value of capital P, capital Q and capital R. So while comparing with the given equation, we get the value of capital P to be this, capital Q is this and capital R is this. So when we compare these two equations, we get the value of P, Q and R. So let us write that. So we have compared and we have taken and written the value of P, Q and R. The next step is we have to write the auxiliary equation. So the auxiliary equation is given by this. Now in this auxiliary equation, we have to substitute the value of P, Q and R over here. And what we obtain is, so we get these ratios. So the, this can be marked as first ratio, this as second and this as the third ratio. And while comparing the ratio 1 and ratio, ratio 2, we see that we cannot uh, do the variable separable method and hence we cannot apply the method of grouping. The same case happens to 2 and 3 and 1 and 3 when they are compared. So for that, that reason we have to use the method of multipliers. So if we want to use the method of multipliers we have to uh, find a new ratio which is the fourth ratio and how it is found. It is found by multiplying the first ratio by L, M, uh, second ratio by M and the third ratio by N and adding them separately in the numerator and separately in the denominator. If you follow the previous problems that we have already completed, you will understand it better. So I am just not explaining uh, that concept in more detail because the previous problems we have explained it. So I will just write the fourth ratio. So this is the fourth ratio that we have obtained. Now we have to find the set of multipliers which makes the denominator of the fourth ratio as zero. So let us see how to do that. So we have taken the denominator of ratio 4 and we have written it separately. So we shall now make the choice of the multipliers L, M and N in such a way that we can make the denominator 0. So if you observe we have X, Y and Z over here and within the bracket we have Y power 4, Z power 4, here also Z power 4, X power 4 and X power 4, Y power 4. So all the terms are of power 4. So we have x outside to, to be multiplied within the bracket. So if we make this power of x to be 4, this power of y to be 4 and the power of z to be 4, it will be easy for us to cancel. So what we can do, in already we have x over here. So x power 1. In order to make the power of x as 4, we have to multiply it by x cube. In order to make the power of y to be 4, we have to multiply it by y cube. And here we have to multiply by z cube. So we have to choose the multipliers L, M and N as x cube, y cube and z cube. So that when multiplied with x, y and z, they become uh, uh, their powers become 4. And when multiplied inside, it can be easily cancelled and the denominator can be made as 0. So we have to um, choose the multipliers L, M and N as x bar, x cube, y cube and z cube. So let us write that in words now. So put L is equal to x cube, M is equal to y cube and N is equal to z cube. So what will happen to this denominator? It will become... So x cube multiplied with x is x to the power 4 multiplied with 2y power 4 minus z power 4 plus y cube multiplied with y is y to the power 4 again multiplied with z to the power 4 minus 2x to the power 4 plus n is equal to z cube. So z cube multiplied with z will give us z power 4 multiplied with x power 4 minus y to the power 4. Now we shall multiply this x power 4 to the terms that are that is there inside the bracket. So this will be equal to 2 x power 4 y power 4 minus x power 4 z to the power 4 plus this y power 4 has to be multiplied within the bracket and so we get y power 4 z to the power 4 and then y power 4 multiplied with this we have a negative sign here so minus 2 x to the power 4 y to the power 4 plus z power 4 multiplied with 
x to the power 4 minus z power 4 multiplied with y to the power 4. So, we can write it as minus y power 4 z power 4. Now, we shall check whether are we able to cancel the terms. So, if you see here, we have plus 2x to the power 4 y to the power 4. And here we have minus 2 y x to the power 4 y to the power 4. So, these two terms can be cancelled. And next if you check, here you have x to the power 4 z to the power 4 that is negative. And this is positive x to the power 4 z to the power 4. So, these two terms can be cancelled. And finally we have y power 4 and z power 4 minus y power 4 z power 4. And so, these two terms can be grouped and so they can be cancelled. And finally, we get the solution to be that is, this is equal to 0 and this can be marked as 1. So, therefore, the first set of multipliers is x cube, y cube and z cube. So, we have to choose L, M and N as x cube, y cube and z cube in order to make the denominator 0. So, we have obtained the first set of multipliers which will give us the first solution u. Similarly, we have to find the second set of multipliers which are different from these multipliers in order to find the solution v. So, first we shall find the second set of multipliers now. So, we shall now find the second set of multipliers for which we will take and write the denominator 4. I mean denominator of the ratio 4. So, now we have to find the second set of multipliers that we have that is we have to choose the value for L, M and N to make the denominator as 0. Now, if you see the second set of multipliers can be chosen accordingly that is we have X here in multiplication, Y here and Z here. So, if we cancel out them by choosing L as 1 by X, M by S 1 by Y and Z as 2 by uh, I mean n as 2 by z then we can easily uh, cancel the remaining terms here I am choosing 1 by x 1 by y but why I am planning to choose n as 2 by z because z and z will get cancelled but the terms inside the bracket if you see it is only x power 4 and y power 4 but here you have 2 x power 4 2 y power 4 so, if you have 2x power 4 and 2y power 4 here, then only we can cancel the terms to make it 0. For that reason, I will be choosing n as 2 by z. Whereas, l and m as 1 by x and this as 1 by y. So, when I do that pro the procedure, maybe you will understand it better. So, put l is equal to 1 by x, m is equal to 1 by y. And n is equal to 1, I mean 2 by z. So, why I am choosing this in particular as 2 by z, you will understand when I substitute it. So, when we substitute these values for L, M and N, we get, so 1 by x if you put 1 by x and x multiplied with 2y power 4 minus z power 4 plus M is what? 1 by y. So, 1 by y and the terms here are y multiplied with z power 4 minus 2x to the power 4 plus n is 2 by z. So, 2 by z multiplied with z multiplied with x to the power 4 minus y to the power 4. Now, if you cancel out x and x, y and y and z and z, we get this as 2y power 4 minus z power 4 and then we have a plus here. So, plus z power 4 plus into minus minus 2x power 4 and this 2 has to be multiplied inside so plus 2x to the power 4 and this 2 will be multiplied here so minus 2y to the power 4 now you see whether they are, are they getting cancelled so 2y power 4 and negative 2y power 4 can be cancelled so negative z power 4 positive z power 4 can be cancelled and here you have minus 2x power 4 and plus 2x power 4 and this we get it to be 0. So, this can be marked as 1. So, therefore, the first set of multiplier, I mean the second set of multipliers that we can choose for L, M and N in order to make the denominator as 0 is 1 by X, 1 by Y and 2 by Z. 
so these are the second set of multipliers now we shall find the solutions u and v so first we shall find the solution u in order to find the solution u we have to make use of the first set of multipliers that we have found so first we shall write the ratio 4 that we had so the ratio 4 is so we have taken and written ratio 4 now we shall choose the first set of multipliers that we found so choose the multipliers l m and n as so when we substitute this in ratio 4 what you get the ratio 4 as at the place of l you have to put x cube so x cube dx plus m you have to put y cube so y cube dy plus n as z cube d is z the whole divided by and we saw that if we put if we choose l m and n as x cube y cube and z cube this denominator was 0 this is from 1 which we have written while finding the first set of multipliers okay so when denominator is 0 by the method of multipliers we can equate the numerator as 0 so we can put this as 0 now we have to what we have to do we have to integrate on both the sides so integrating on both the sides what do you get the integration of for x cube is x to the power 4 by 4 plus y to the power 4 by 4 plus the integration for z cube is z to the power 4 divided by 4 equal to a constant c1 now if you take lcm on the left you will be having x power 4 plus y power 4 plus z power 4 the whole divided by 4 is equal to c1 and from this we can take this 4 to the right and multiply it with c1 and we will have x power 4 plus y power 4 plus z power 4 to be equal to what 4c1 but 4c1 is again a constant so in general i can write it as c1 itself so this will give us the first solution u so therefore the first solution u is equal to x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus z to the power 4 so we have obtained the first solution u now we have to use the second set of multipliers and we have to obtain the solution v so now we shall find the solution v for which first we will write take and write the fourth ratio that we had so what is that so we have taken and written that now in this case we will choose the multipliers l m and n from the second set of multipliers that we obtained what was the second set of multipliers that we had it is here actually this should be marked as 2 because it is the second one okay this is 2 so kindly make that change so second set of multipliers was 1 by x 1 by y and 2 by z so let us write that so we are choosing the multipliers as this so what will happen in fourth when you fourth ratio if you substitute l as 1 by x you will have 1 by x dx plus m is what 1 by y so 1 by y dy plus n is 2 by z so 2 by z d is z the whole divided by if you put these multipliers in the denominator from 2 we saw that it became 0 so if you see here we chose these multipliers and we found that the denominator of the fourth ratio was equal to 0. So, therefore, we have to make it 0. This is from 2. Now, now by the method of multipliers, if the denominator is 0, you can equate the numerator as 0. So, 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus 2 by z d z is equal to 0 so therefore this is equal to now integrating on both the sides what do you get what is the integral of 1 by x dx it is log x plus the integral of 1 by y dy is log y plus 2 is a constant which can be taken out of the integration and d integral of d z by z is log z and the constant of integration can be written as log c2 now by using the logarithmic rule we know that if you have log a plus log b plus log c it can be written as logarithm of a b c so using this we are going to make use of this rule over here so what what we will be getting this is like a this is like b and this is like c
and before that we can see that we have a constant 2 over here so in order to get rid of this constant we will be using another property from logarithm that is another rule so what is that rule it is if you have um, for example if you have a log b then it can be written as logarithm of b to the power this a constant a can be taken to the power for b so a uh, log b to the power a so using this rule first we will rewrite this so th this all remains the same so we get log x plus log y these two remain the same and this alone can be rewritten as plus logarithm of z square is equal to log c2 and this will be further by using this rule we can write it as logarithm of x okay this is like a this is like b so y and this is like c over here so and z square is equal to logarithm of c2 now since we have a logarithm on both the sides we can equate this uh, that is we can equate x y z square is equal to this constant c2 therefore this will give us the solution second solution which is v and therefore the second solution v is equal to x y z square so we have got the solution v so now we can write the general solution phi of u comma v is equal to 0 what is u we have already obtained it to be this one x to the power 4 plus y power 4 plus z power 4 so we can substitute that over here so we get the general solution as phi of x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus z to the power 4 comma the second solution is what this so this we will substitute x y z square and that is equal to 0 so hope you have understood this problem thank you